Argentina. Uh -huh. I live in a place called Santa Fe. I started in guiding when I was seven years old, and then I went through all the branches. I became a leader, and then I worked in my council. And when I was 24 years old, I applied to come to the Cabana as a volunteer. So what was it about Girl Guides that kept you in it until, you know, all the way through? That kept you from dropping it when you got busy and decided that you, you know, wanted to date and do yeah, all I the think other that activities? <laughs> the most important is friendship. The friends that I made as a guide, I still keep them. And we are still in touch. And the girl guiding showed me how to be more independent, that there are many options outside my place and my country. So I really like it. And since I was like 10, my dream was to become a leader. So I stay because I wanted to give to other girls what I receive as a guide. So I really like it. So what were your favorite things that your troop did? What are the things that you remember the most? Camping, camping and uh, service projects with the community. We used to work in a school, hospital, and other places, and really enjoy that. And I try to implement those things that I learned in Argentina in some of the things that we do here at the Cabana. Oh, that's great. So have you been to other world centers, or have you just been to our Cabana? I have been to all of them. You've been to all of them? I actually did the four world centers in a year. Last, I went to Pax Lodge, mm -hmm. India, last May, Chalet in last January, and I work here. I have been at the Cabana for four and a half years, actually. Can you tell us just one thing special about each one? My, our troop, um, my oldest daughter's troop, they're cadets, they're 13, and it's their goal. They want to go to our Chalet in Switzerland um, for their kind of senior trip. But, Switzerland is beautiful. All the mountains around the place, all the activities that you can do there, hiking, skiing, it's, it's really nice. And you really enjoy every day. The place is like, you feel like in a movie. Actually, when you get there and you see the chalet on the top of the mountain, it's amazing. India, what is amazing about India is the culture of the place. Is you learn so much, you, you learn how to understand the differences because you get there and you live a different lifestyle, everything is different. So you learn how they are different than you and how you can work together, it's very nice. And London is London, <laughs> it's, land. it's, very, it's very nice too. And what's your favorite thing about our cabana? I love Mexico. I love the culture of the country and I like how the cabana try to teach or show that culture to the participants that come here. We try to teach them the language, to understand why the Mexican people do these things and not the others. The service project with the community and the opportunity to go and visit other places is amazing. And having the chance to have in one week people from so many places is great. Um, and so how long are you here as a volunteer? Actually, I'm not a volunteer oh, right okay. now. I work perma permanently mm -hmm. at the Cabana. I came as a volunteer. I worked for four months uh, as a volunteer. And then I became the assistant program manager. Oh, and, okay, yeah. and I was in charge of this place for two years. And now I work as a program manager. So, so I have been here for a long time. You've been here. And so do you plan on staying? Or for I would like to stay. I love this place. And I love what I do here. And actually, right now, I think that if I have to leave the cabana because my contract finished. I would like to stay and live in Mexico. So. Oh, and Who knows? In Cuernavaca or somewhere else? I would like to live in Puebla. Mm -hmm. oh. Have you been there? Yes, we went to Puebla. It's very nice. So there. So do you have anything else you want to tell? Hopefully you will come to visit us. We are going to be waiting for you. <laughs> as a participant or as a volunteer, we are here. And you will have the opportunity to meet people from different places with different languages. So it, this is a great opportunity. Thank you. You're welcome. <laughs>